My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Slay the Spy Downfall. Just before we get into the run, I'm going to say if you had queries about uh, the, the placement of the webcam and specifically the screen elements that were hidden in the first 15 minutes of the last episode, there were a lot of comments about that. Uh, despite the fact that I revealed them 15 minutes into the episode, they're revealed. They're there. I'm going to try and find a more elegant way to do this in the future. Trust me, I'm working on it. But for the moment... I'm effectively just copying this bit up there. It's all good. Do not worry. You will be able to see the draw pile as well as the energy. Let's get into the automaton where that is going to matter a hell of a lot. Hello, automaton. Ah, rare card to obtain is the very start. You know that's my jam. Let me just get some water over here as well. It's just going to be sitting in front of me the entire time. A bit of a strained voice today, so I feel like this is probably a good approach. Hyperbeam deals 45 damage to all enemies, retains, plus six, puts Vive Void on top of your draw pile when retained, lower its cost by one this combat. So basically, like, use this as a finisher or don't use it at all. I mean... I'm fine with that? I haven't used it at all yet, but if I take it really early, let's just go super hyper-aggressive with it. You know? We'll upgrade it to cost one less, making it faster for us to activate. You know what? Give me that relic. Heal five for every one of our... Uh, sorry, heal three for every five cards in our deck. Good. Money. Nothing. Not super jazzed about that. Because obviously we're not going to want to use the hyper beam. We can avoid it. Double defend and then wait for the next cycle. Yeah, double defend. Because we're going to be using the hyper beam to get the finisher here. Certainly. Ugh. When retained, lower its cost by one this combat. So if I use it next turn... No, no, I would want to use it this turn for free if I was going to try and get value out of it that way. Uh, the thing is, I need it to be able to kill the enemy. So I think I still need to hit... And replicate. Let me use one copy. Uh-oh. We're not close enough to the kill here. I would have to defend as well. Uh... Are we just going to die? Feels like we might just die. Dang, regret. Regret! Why are you always in hand? Two. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Yeah, we're dead. We're totally dead. Even if I attacked again, it's not going to happen. This... <laughs> This is something that's happened the entire time uh, that this game has been live. The Dead Adventurer event, just the Lagavulin is rough. Now, I know you know if it's going to be the Lagavulin, right? You can see the text at the very top. To be entirely fair, I thought that we were going to be able to finish it with the Hyper Beam pretty easily. But uh, it's a bit hard to do that damage when, when you've got low strength from turn one, and the regret certainly didn't help turning up in all of our largest hands there. Let's try that again. Nah, enemies in extreme combats flee in terror. Fine. Uh, I really hate that modifier, but I uh, guess that's the one we're going to be going with. Two elite path, two elite path with two midline rests. That's not bad. Now we can get a standard opening with the Guardian. Guardian? Automaton! This isn't the thumbnail of episode 72, 73. I can't confuse those and then intentionally screw those up after the point. Just, <laughs> just for fun. Constructor. You know what? Let's leave ourselves open to the possibility of the perfect function. I always want to just avoid this. I know there's an event that's introduced in Downfall that is really valuable should you have a lot of curses. 
But its value isn't worth having the curses in the deck in the first place, in my opinion. So I'm gonna go for the sap there. I can't just stack this deck with a bunch of curses. It's not... That's not viable. That's not a way to win. That's not good. Close over there. Cool. Just making sure that this is working out well. Hey, Separator! That's the following of the Constructor. All right, let's find Terminator in the... Uh, in our fight here. Good fight. Well played. Smiling Mask as well. Burnout. Burnout's so good, though. And Icky is already pushing a little in that direction. I I like Burnout a lot. I want to try and use it. Letter Opener? It's too, too good, especially early on, to really turn down. I'm not going to put a Separator up there. That's where Constructor goes. Speaking of. Hello, friend. Do I defend out? Do I strike? Yeah, because a single Burnout because I played Icky is not going to be the damage we're looking for here. Uh, let's go to. That card is the one that I would play as a priority. I guess I consider it my... Priority? There's just no better phrasing for that, unfortunately. Perfect. Let's take our kill there. Oh, Mirage. All right, well, we know what we're doing. <laughs> we're doing a status heavy deck. Bug Raj, add two wounds to your hand. Cycle each status in your hand, deal five damage for each. And then burn out, and then do it again. Really great time. Uh, gonna have to go for the double defense there as well. No, I don't have any money. I have souls. You interested in souls? I can help you use souls. I mean, at least this gives us five blocks, so it's totally still fine to play. Bug Rush. It's only two times. Draws us into maybe Replicate, which would be good. Otherwise, yeah, I don't need to play with that. I'll just double defend there. I don't need to play for the play that might be good, because I can just do the one that is. I just have to be a little bit more patient. So we'll use the Icky so that we get another status in hand to cycle here. Getting the kill. Invoke. Gain three block in code. Compile to gain energy equal to the total cost of the cards in the sequence. Branch for infinite beams. No. Nope. We're looking for things that will help us manage our draw. There's no way I burn out right now, is there? Insert three burns. Insert goes into the draw pile, which could go next to the bug barrage. God, I actually do, don't I? Fine. We'll hit him with the vulnerability, the replicate, and then the burnout. Icky, strike, and the defense. Do I also hit him with a weaken? Very early to be using all of those. There's the bug barrage, at least. Mm-hmm. Throw it a separator. We get that car back. Get the draw off of it. And then, boom. Kill him. Rod of the Bolstering Flame. First time you play a power card each combat, gain six block and one strength. <laughs> and then we get a power. Remove all compile error effects from the sequence. Lasts for the next four functions created. I don't really want that at all. Because I want compile error effects. Because a lot of the time, those are going to give us the statuses, which I so desperately crave. We could be turning all of that down. Statuses. It's what this deck craves. Give him a bug barrage. Fine. We'll go to... And then, wow, really? It's not how I wanted that one to resolve. Strike, I guess. I was hoping to get Separator out there and then throw the Separator for the damage. You are actually kidding me, right? How dare you give me all of that? There you go. Get burnt out. Altus Potion. As <laughs> all right. Take Terminator. I don't know if we're going to be able to make the perfect function, but 
I also don't think the perfect function actually does a huge amount, but it's, 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 that's neither here nor there. Eight damage reach. Terminator should be zero cost. Makes it a lot easier for us to play here. Now, I do have the Iki in the deck. I would like to remove that because I have to play the Iki before it actually becomes valuable for the sake of the Bug Barrage and the uh, Burnout. That's just cost that I don't really need to have in the deck at this point. Uh, also, with the amount of money I have, I really do just want to visit the Merchant. Replicate, separate. Strike. And Exhaustiate. I mean, obviously, it's got to be Terminator. 4 and 12, and then do it again. Get a Construct around at the start, and then a single defend and another strike. Doing decent damage. Bug Barrage and then Burnout in the same turn, please. Wild. <laughs> Although now the Burnout is in the second draw pile. Maybe that actually wasn't good. Maybe that was bad, actually. Although, 100 damage against the Merchant in our first fight, that's not bad. Especially with a deck that does take a time to kind of get going, you know? Don't want any of those. Max output's really good with this deck. It's also a really good power to use the Rod of the Bolstrong claim on because it's going to be zero cost a lot of the time because I'm going to be upgrading it. Bottle Anomaly, start of combat, remove your draw pile, start of turn three, add it to your hand, it costs zero. That would be pretty good for burnout, wouldn't it? Right? Because then we have some time to actually put some statuses into the jet. Let's take max output. Let's put burnout in the bottled Anomaly. And then, yeah, I will remove the Icky as... As mentioned prior. Also, I should just be using as much removal as possible to get as much value out of the Smiling Mask as possible. Uh, as for the rest of this, probably pass. I could have taken that safeguard, though. I definitely could have. Oh, yikes. Right, we'll use the max output and draw. Do I want to try and split the enemy here? Is that my play? That shouldn't be my play. Defend, defend. Hold. Terminator obviously doesn't go in. Constructor, Separator, Strike. We'll wait until we get Terminator. Build Child. It's not ominous at all. Uh, hits four times. Okay, split the enemy there. Also got the Bug Barrage left in the deck that it's going to be a really good draw alongside of. Wow, we're one damage short of being able to kill the backliner by itself there. I may end up actually just using the Cultist Potion to try and drag myself through the next fight. There's the Terminator. Perfection. Uh, gain 7 block deal. 13 damage. Play this again. We did it. We achieved perfection. I'm not going to be prioritizing that as a thing that I try and do in every fight. Frankly, the fact that I did it once, to me, is like, cool. You don't have to do it unless it is actually advantageous past this point. But it is fine to do this, I will. Hmm. I don't really care about putting Replicate into that either. There's the Terminator. All right. There you go. It was the right thing to do there, so I did it. Savvy. Ooh, we're going to get to Bug Barrage. And Burnout on the same turn. Beautiful. All right, Bug Barrage. Hit him. Then we'll throw the Replicate Strike Strike. Burn him out. We need another Bug Barrage. It's a common though, so it shouldn't be too difficult for us to get. Throw the Perfection for all the defense. Use the go-to and then throw out another defend as well. I may actually weaken the enemy with a weakened pod here. I don't want them getting a giant amount of defense after hitting me, and I also don't want them to hit me for a giant amount of damage. This, it, it serves multiple asses to do that. 
Another burnout. That'll do. Quite literally. Enemy's dead. Hyperbeam. No. Takes far too long to actually activate the, the effect of the hyperbeam here. Break, though. Compiler insert for random status card. That seems... Seems like our jam. Not being able to see the enemy's intents. I'm leaning towards Black Star here, actually. I do like extra energy, but I think more than that, I like... If we can get our way through a couple of elite fights here. And yeah, maybe that's not possible, but if we can, we should be comfy for the rest of the run. Recall for a single point of strength. Strength matters a lot in this deck, definitely. Although I wouldn't be able to actually capitalize on it until down here. And by that point, I've probably taken damage enough to heal up before the next elite fight. Hmm. So you know what? I think I actually increased my damage significantly more by just upgrading Burnout. All of these normal fights ought to give me a Bug Barrage, please. Please, game. Yeah, let's put someone on the ground, I guess. Go-to with a Terminator and is really good. Okay, wait a second. We go Constructor, Terminator, and then we double play that again. Just making sure that I get the full defense myself there. We also get through the deck as much as possible to get back to the other bug barrage or the same bug barrage again. Other. Of course, it's not other. Uh, there's bug barrage. Hmm. Okay, Bug Barrage for the frontliner. Knocking them down to the ground. Separate and break is not going to be enough, but if I throw break here, I can then just use the explosive potion. And then try and round out with just a single defense. I did want to save that explosive potion for some of the elite fights coming up, especially in the gremlin knob fight. Gremlin knob, gremlin leader, excuse me, fight. Uh, it can be really particularly effective. Mm -hmm. Then copying smash as well. Burnout. Oh, it's so good to just blow them all up. Oh, Barrage. Thank you. Oh, this is so good. Go for max output, and then... How do I do this? I guess Bug Barrage, and then look if I get a defend. Sorry, uh, not a defend, but the... Constructor. So instead here, I actually have to naturally defend. Yikes. Could I max out with it at least, though? Mm, you know, I can try and set myself up. Let's try and set myself up there. Do I want to try and set myself up there? No. We use that, but we will replicate, and then we'll just throw this ability out again. I'm not taking damage trying to set up perfection constantly. This is me convincing myself, by the way, more than you. Uh, sure, burn him out. Ancient potions, pretty damn good. Buggy mess, insert a random status, gain an energy and encode. Thank you. Especially considering we didn't get energy from the previous boss relic. Much appreciated. <sighs> All right, let's crack the code. Let's do it. Ironclad, ironclad, ironclad. Probably another ironclad, though. There's no ironclads in the puzzle. Good. Silent, 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 silent. There is a silent. Put silent in the first position. Try out defects. Silent's not in the first position. There is no defect. Silent in the second position. And then 
watcha, watcha, watcha. Okay, so... Either Silent's still in the wrong position. There is a Silent, there is a Watcher. They... Well, actually, no, because the, if this is the correct position for the Silent... Right? Yeah, so... If the second is the correct position for the Silent to be in, then the Watcher is out of position. However, if the Watcher is in the correct position... Wait, no. So if the Watcher is in the wrong position, right? Then that means its position would have to be the middle. The, the Silent's current position. So that means the Silent cannot be the one in the correct position here. It has to be the Watcher in the correct position and the Silent's back out of position as well. So that means Silent goes here and then Watcher goes there and then we put Crowbot, Crowbot. Okay. Okay, so we have more information again. We know that the Crowbot is in there. We also know that there is now a, uh, a key in there too. So now anytime I form something, which is going to be silent, watcher, crowbot, lock, I'm going to have to run it by all of the previous ones and see whether or not that would be true if this is the pattern. So for instance, let's assume that the crowbot is one of the correct ones and both of these are out of position, right? That goes there. That goes there. Crowbot goes there. And lock goes there. So I'm not going to commit this yet, but I will cross references against all of the previous ones. So if this is the actual puzzle, would this have been what came up? That one's correct. Wrong position, wrong position, nothing. Yes. If this is the correct puzzle, would this have been the result down here? Uh, so we have one out of position, one in correct position. Yes. Same down here. One out of position. Yes. Same down here. One in position. Yes. We commit that. Okay. So two are now out of position. Two are in position, though. Good. Good. So how do I build up from the previous ones to see the next up top? Or do I have to just completely shuffle things consistently? Do we have any that we can guarantee are in the correct position as a result of the information in the previous spheres? Guess it's rubber. Not necessarily. Because it could easily just be the inversion of the crowbots there. And then this. Right? Correct. Inverted. Goes down to this line. Uh, that's the correct one. And then these two are inverted. From the actual solution, right? Take that relic. Move on. It's a hell of a lot of damage in that bronze scales right there, especially against some of the upcoming fights. Remove three cards, gain a curse of random. Yeah, the thinner this deck is, the far better off we're going to be. Uh, we probably take out strikes, honestly. Just three strikes. We got clumsy. Nice. Pretty thrilled about that, frankly. Uh... Go to separate a Terminator. Probably not. Definitely max output first. <gasps> oh, that's great. Okay, we... Buggy mess, go to, and then Terminator. So now we gain two energy, draw four cards whenever we play Buggy Sprint. We also insert two statuses into the draw pile, which we're actually kind of looking to do right now as well. Uh, sure, let's play that. Got a void in there, immediately drew it. Unfortunately, the void is actually going to be discarded here as well. Because we're going to be cycling them. So I play a break, then bug barrage. Cycling all of those out. Guess I construct a replicate. No, I don't need to do that just yet. I'll... Constructor end. So I don't want to replicate because I don't want to use the compile error and get four statuses back into the deck just yet. 
Not just yet. I do that right before the bottle of Anomaly pops. Anomaly. Anomaly. I am Anomaly. Uh, or do I do it this turn? Because it comes out next turn. And that's going to be our kill turn. Why would I do it this turn? It doesn't provide any extra defense over just defending three times. I would do it that turn because I don't think I'm going to be able to pop it on the following turn. That likely? Insert, draw. I would have to not hit this or this in my draw. Likelihood of that is quite low. Just going to go for the three defense here. Ow. There we go. There's the separator. Oh, beautiful. We hit him with the buggy sprints. Getting even more in the draw pile. Love it. Nine damage 13 times. Let's do it. Yes! Bottled Lightning. Upon pickup, choose a skill. Start each combo that I open can't. Take the Sundial first. Hard code. Next time you create a function, add it to your deck. Remove the cards used to create it, including this. Well. That's incredible, right? We just have a fight where we set up the buggy mess, the go-to, and the terminator, and then our, duck, uh, our deck is hilariously good. We need more defense in this deck. That's one thing we're definitely lacking at the moment. I'm taking hard code. Uh, bottled lightning. So previously, I was going to bottled lightning either go-to or the buggy mess. Put those in the opening hand, but I don't want to put them in the opening hand here, do I? Uh, instead, I probably want Constructor, I guess? Yeah. Pop Constructor in the opening hand, so it always encodes first. Alright, we're going to try and go for another Elite and get another two Relics here. Molten Egg, when you've got an attack on to your deck, upgrade it. How many more attack cards are we going to add? We'd add a Bug Barrage. We'd probably add another Burnout. Those may even just come pre-upgraded at this point. I'm about to visit a store if I do persist with this path. Fine. This could be a problem. This is probably where I pop the ritual potion. In fact, I'm just going to do it immediately. Uh, so... I need to play three skills this turn, as well as both of these bug barrages. Uh-oh. I can't play Constructor. I'm going to buggy mess go to. I'm looking to try and hard encode the Terminator. I can't do it now. I, I just have to play the Terminator out. So I'll hard encode it in another fight. I've got... We'll have time. Uh, okay. Next outputs... Buggy sprint as best we can. Throw up a constructor as well as the separated get that hit. Do I want to throw out the break? If I get, if I get to the next turn and then just play encode, I could just in uh, hard code and then replicate and then I could get a card in my deck that's just pretty good with the bear, uh, build child. It would also remove the constructor and the separator from the deck, which is pretty appealing. Is that the play? Or I could just put a... No, I can't put a break into it because I have to put it in now. Gain 10 block, deal 16 damage for one energy. It removes four cards from our deck. Because we get a copy of the replicate, so it actually removes the replicate as well. The fact that it removes four cards from the deck might actually make it the correct play. It is still contingent on the enemy not attacking this turn, which they may just... Uh-oh. It's fine. We can still do it. We buggy sprint. Get the requisite energy.
All right, there you go. Look at the master deck, and yep, we have no more replicate in here. We just have Bill Charles. I'm totally comfy with that. Looks like I'm only playing two defense here, unfortunately. Really wanted that frontliner to get hit again. Okay, we may have to dodge the next elite. That's that's feeling like a dodge. Oh, burnout stays zero cost? It costs zero, not... Oh, God. Oh, dear Lord. Not it costs zero this turn. It just does. Yeah, buggy sprint would have been such a good one to hard code. But I can't just, like, try and hard code the best thing constantly. I have to just get something good. Null pointer. Function is unplayable. So, in this deck right now, we have... Buggy Mask go to Terminator. Null point. Okay, null point would be a problem. I was thinking if 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 we only had break, we could take break and null pointer, and they're just exhaust effectively, right? They just go into the sequence and never get made, but that's okay. Uh, but I don't think we can there. We're probably just resting and then going for this elite again, I think. Bug barrage. Buggy mess break and then terminator? Sure. Give me all the statuses in that draw pile. Sure, it's going to mess up this turn a little bit. Or not. But it'll make this next turn pretty spiced. Spice the heck out of this turn, in fact. Alright. Great, we didn't get the void, but we're about to. So, mm, if I play go to or bug barrage, I draw into that void. But if I play go to. Yeah. If I play go to. We don't go into the new draw pile, so the burnout is going to be in the second draw pile still for us. Although I am drawing through a bunch of burns to get to it. Or ideally trying to get to it. Okay. We missed. We took one damage, but that's a good amount of damage down against the enemy here. Come on. Lee's Waffle. Lee's Waffle. Oh, Bug Barrage pre-upgraded. Huge pickup there. Membership card. 50% discount on all products as well as the meat on the bone. Well... We have one power in the deck, but I don't think it's worth it. We'll take that, and then we'll take the meat on the bone. Interesting. 50% discount on all products. It now always costs 50 gold, so the Smiling Mask overrides. We still take out Clumsy. It's ethereal, but our deck is... Our first couple turns matter a lot to us. Get here. Just have to go for the rest. Don't want to get into the next Elite Fight and die. Thank you. Max that output, build that child, and build it strong, because we'll be here before too long. Uh, break? No, because Buggy Mess and Goto are very likely in the next... In fact, they are guaranteed in the next stand, right? Draw an additional card and add a daze in that order, I have to imagine, so we'll strike. Yeah, looks like it's definitely in that order. So we... Buggy mess go to. Drawing into cards that we get to use with the bug brush. Drawing a whole new hand. Just looking for the ability to finish this out. Use another bug brush. Looking for the Terminator. Still can't find Terminator to life me, eh? Draw two, looking for the Terminator right now. No. So instead I'm gonna break. Just so that I have the ability to cast this again. There you go. We're below half HP and the mean on the bone is now going to heal us. It's, it's not bad. Nine damage 14 times right now. I don't know how this kills Meow. I'll tell you that right now. Gambling chip at the start of combat. Discard any number of cards and then draw that many. Love it. Uh, 
refactor. Exhaust all cards discarded. Gain six block for each status card exhausted. I could theoretically use refactor in this deck for a lot of block. It's just it also removes the ability to... Well, it doesn't remove. It just makes burnout and bug barrage and all that a little less useful. But maybe this is what we need in order to be able to take longer fights like now. So, sure. I'll relent. Let's smith here and get the zero cost on the max output because that is very much going to be part of our opening turn almost all of the time. I may hop over and do another upgrade dependent on value here. So, refactor, eh, reasonable upgrade. Bug barrage, pretty good upgrade. I don't think I'm that hurting for upgrades. And question marks down here could have been the thwacken. We could have got to thwacken. Buggy mess, go to Terminator. Nice. If we actually had Burnout still capable of being drawn, we, 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 we might be able to get like turn one kills with this. And that little piggy went all the way home. Kill him. Cut through branch and invoke. Hard pass. Thank you. Uh, optimally, I ought to take some damage in this fight. Buggy mess. Go to Terminator. Bug out that sprint. Hit him with a barrage. Maybe give him the child and then barrage him again. <laughs> the uh the sundial is actually coming in clutch. I say actually like it surprises me. Sundial's really good, especially with the way I often build my decks. And with the fact that I recognize that if anyone can do thin decking late into the ascensions, it's the automaton. Uh, just feeling pretty good about it, that's all. Okay, buggy mess go to. That did not get Terminator. However, we bug brush our way into Terminator. <laughs> and then we buggy sprint. Uh, we don't even have the ability to get break built yet. Okay. Let's use the first one. Fine. I guess I'll build child there as well. And then bug barrage. I'm leaving, trying to leave space in hand that the bug barrage actually has the ability to generate all the cards that it needs. I didn't do it there because it wasn't necessary. Get him. Super good. Fortify? No. I'm real worried about our long-term defense, y'all. Uh, drop the defense and strike, naturally. I'd hard cut those from the deck if I could. And the may one day do. Should have, sh should have done that in the other order. That's my bad. Go to. Ah! We got that card. That card. So damn good. Hit him with the child and then a bug barrage. Get even more energy so I can continue going if I want to. And break and then bug barrage again. Hmm. Oh, buggy sprint for more energy. Build a child and then strike. Seems good to me. I got a bug barrage left in the deck, right? Oh, it'll still draw despite the fact I'm not hitting a target if I fail. Yeah, there we go. It still resolves all effects as though it hit an actual target, which is good. Otherwise, I can foresee it like invalidating so many different things. It's a pre-upgraded break. Uh, base breaks damage, 15. Okay. 
I think that's just going to make me stronger at taking out individual targets. Velvet Choker. You cannot play more than six cards a turn. That's not how we play. Calling Bell, I guess, because we're not going for the Platinum Call. We're not going to be making three functions. <laughs> we'll be lucky if we make two. One second, y'all. Sorry about that. It's laundry day. <laughs> All right. Uh... I could be making that many functions. Can't use that. All right, calling bell. Come on to the right, I guess. Blank card. At the start of his combat, play a copy of random card from your deck. That could be really good. Horn Cleat's huge for us. Damn, Tori's really good too. Blank card is common? I guess usually people have bad cards in their deck rather than just running a thin deck with only goodens. Not that mine is currently only goodens. We're working towards that. Let's cut through here. We need to fight the enemy again. Buggy mess got played at the start. So that, wait, did that just give us an energy? And it just gave us an energy. That's all it's going to do. Uh, throw those, I guess. No, and it does insert the status. I guess that's still good for us. Okay. I... Bog Barrig. Nice. We go to. Didn't hit the thing we were looking for there. That's okay. 28. Not enough to kill that target. Let's play it slow. We don't need to be too hasty about this. Hmm. I'm a bit crunchy on the, the contrast. I... I don't know what it is, but when I'm on stream, the camera works fine. A lot of the time, at least. Uh, <laughs> when I'm recording through non-Streamlabs uh, OBS, it's just real rough. don't know what the difference is, uh, is here. Hmm. Big brush. Roll through those. Guess I go for the break, strike factor trying to set up by destroying as much as we can there i guess if i played another defender i actually would have gotten the aoe hit there too on we'll turn three though so it's time to burn out burn out with me all right burn out uh dark dash is not necessary weak potion though increase <laughs> Increase all numbers on the card in sequence by one. Uh, Ancient Potion is pretty good for preventing the vulnerability that we're otherwise going to be subjected to in the Nyao fight on turn one. God, am I actually keeping it for that? I think I'm actually keeping it for that. That feels bad. That's a long-term play right there. Remove a card, gain a random card within code. Yeah, probably not. Gain a bottle code. Uh, Pump pick up, choose a card within code. Start each combat with that card in the sequence. Remove a rare card, gain 10 max and heal to full. Uh, I could actually remove that second break right now, the unupgraded one. And then we just did a really expensive upgrade effectively. Bottle code's pretty good here. Just put the... I guess buggy mess in there. There's one fewer card that I have to draw. If it doesn't give me a status at the start, sure, we'll do it. Get up there, buggy. Bzzzt. So now all I have to worry about is just trying to draw down to go to as quickly as I can. Oh, Bug Barrage played itself at the very start there. Thank you. I'll go for it again. <laughs> Speaking of going for it. Go to, go to. Next nice output. Oh my god. Uh, let's say break and then buggy sprint twice. Get all the extra energy and then... Break bug barrage? I should use the other bug barrage. I don't think it's going to matter. That's not lethal? That will be, though. Alright! Pretty 
happy with that. another bug barrage? When you draw the first status or curse card each turn, exhaust it and draw a card. No. I'll take the extra bug barrage. This this is this is not getting past now. I can't see it. I know I said that a lot. I only say it because I mean it. But I'm I'm hesitating to try and not say that I'm certain that it's gonna happen here, but I'm certain. Putting a bug barrage in our opening hand guaranteed is pretty good. Guarantees some draw in that opening hand. Guarantees the beginning of the cycling of those. I am really starting to regret the fact that we have the burnout only after turn three. Feels like we could have done so much stuff with it otherwise. Do I want to hop over for a question mark? Is that really what I want to do? I don't have much time to use all these question marks. So if I hop three times, I'm not hopping back, right? So it's one, two, three to hop back across to here. And then we go down this line. We may not get a shot, but that's that's huge value. So one, two, go down this line. We get a decent amount of upgrades as well. Not that we have too many things that we really want to upgrade, but we may upgrade to like a defense. God, I think we lose a bug barrage. The rest of these are far too impactful. Ouch. This is a little easier to swallow because we do have the ability to upgrade the other bug barrage that we just added. Or rather, the one that we had previously. Uh, to account for the one that we just added. Quetstone upon pick up upgrade to random attacks. Well, I'm going to take the sapphire key there. I'm also going to break the sapphire key. I think we just need to upgrade the defense. Refactor in case we actually do get met with an aggressive turn that we have to account for. Oh, we can actually even go to the shop and then ho hop back over. Uh, we did kill the shopkeeper, but there's more removals and we have a merch. We have a membership card. Definitely have to take this. <sighs> Evil within. Just as a value pick. I don't know. That's my jam. We just remove more cards. Get out of here, you low rent break. We do good damage. We don't need you to be part of that. I don't think I changed anything about that nobody had. Nice targeting. Hit him with a go-to. Hit him with a refactor. No, the refactor's still in hand. Hit him with a uh, terminator. Nine and seven is 26, if I'm not mistaken. Let's draw a whole mess of cards and then bug barrage our way through the entire deck a couple times here. Because yeah, I know I'm drawing into them. Uh, max output gives us the energy to be able to play break and then another bug barrage. <laughs> The bugs don't stop coming. Feeling a bit like Elmer Fudd here. Is that like a dated reference now? Oh God. I'm contending a lot this year with the fact that I'm old. <laughs> I did it. I made it to old. There's certainly people older than me. I'm certain of it. I'm... There's certainly some of them out there, but I'm hearing myself say things and I'm like, I remember hearing adults say things akin to that and thinking, damn, you're old. I don't understand that. Ah, well, as I say, every time I mention this tangent, I've always felt like I'm going to age into the, like, I've always felt like I'm going to make more sense the older I get. So if anything, I'm actually kind of excited about it. I'm just, just just, also a little taken aback, you know? You can be both. I find a lot of the time I don't know how I feel about a thing. Not necessarily... 
or at least like I don't know how I feel about a thing instantaneously in the moment it takes me a while to figure it out I'm sure that I will be much more resolute about this later on but for the moment I'm old. okay we want to try and end these fights on two in the sundial if possible because that's value right there front load invalidate full maps we don't have too many ways to make the enemies vulnerable in the mid fight it's a giant amplification of damage if we do so it's zero cost it gets out of the cycle fine a lot of the time we draw too many cards and then we have to play a one cost card in order to free up the hand with the bug barrage so i think this is gonna be fine merchant because there's still more value there but we have to keep 100 gold yeah just go for the relic oh gain energy on turn one yes love that that's <laughs> we spend almost all of our fights in turn one because there's not always a turn two I'll take a rare relic from y'all as well. Thank you. Uh, I think I do have to try and go wombo them. Okay. There's the buggy sprint. We throw out the invalidate. Let's pop the buggy sprint, I guess. Getting a burn or two in hand. Here we are. Break the back line and then bug barrage. A huge amount. Guess I just double buggy sprint again? I mean, the goal ought to just be get back to and play buggy sprint as often as we can, right? I think we have too many cards in the deck for this to be like an infinite, but it can end the fight's effect. Ooh, Captain's Wheel. Great there too. Uh, hard pass. We've already decided on all of those earlier that they don't necessarily add that much to the deck. You know what? I'm gonna take a second here. Uh, it's, it's fine. This is not gonna be how it's, it is constantly. I'm just quickly gonna see if I can use color correction here to up. I guess the gamma a bit. There we go. It's the flickering effect. I don't know. I don't know how to resolve it. I thought I had by turning it down from 19... Sorry, 1080p to 720p, but... Evidently that didn't change it at all. I'm not going to overfocus on that. I do apologize. Just trying to make sure this is a smooth transition. There's our Terminator. Give him the buggiest sprint we can. Build that child. Validate, freeze the hand. Bug them again. Okay, I'm not. Wait, I am going to draw into the new draw piles. So that gives us the ability to get killed. Oh. Explosive, don't want it. Fine tuning. I'd have to get that in the opening. Well, I would likely get that in the opening hand and it gives us so much energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll take that now. Because our opening hand draws a ridiculous amount of cards, so we're probably going to end up with it, right? Uh, I don't need to play break in this fight. Bill Charles nice, but I don't need that in the opening either. Start out with a max. Then we get go to, then we fine tuning, so we're getting two energy and three cards. Instead, we're getting four energy and six cards every time we play that with the Terminator. Whew. Uh... Just do it, I guess. Trying to defend and then bug barrage, just cycle. This isn't an infinite, I don't think. But we generate so much value, it could well be, right? Well, no, because we might draw into a void. No, wait, we're not, because they're all wounds. Well, actually, no, because Buggy Sprint can add non-wounds. 
What if I just refactor and try and get a bunch of them out of there? Is this? If I draw into buggy sprint off of this, definitely. Come on. There we go. Good fight. <laughs> All right. This merchant fight should probably resolve similarly. The Meow fight, obviously, we can't just infinite like that. And obviously, Meow is going to add some things to the deck that are a bit of poison pills, so to speak, for that uh, uh, that style. Although we do have double machine oil to act as our uh, triggers in there, so. There's the fine tuning. So now we go to and then fine tuning and then Terminator. Definitely throw out the Invalidate. I guess Bug Barrage once. Man, Burnout would be so good if it wasn't in that bottle. Give me a Burnout in the store, please. Come on, make up for the mistake. Well, it wasn't necessarily a mistake. It worked well for a period of time. It's just eventually not so much anymore. Our way through the deck there. Ah, I see. So we won't actually continue. I'll have to kill you on turn two then. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess I have to buggy sprint, put it in the new discard pile. It's not going to matter. Rip. Vajra, Blue Candle, Blade Slice and Curical, I guess. Nothing really that matters to me. Spaghetti Code. <laughs> the start of combat gained two energy and added Void to your draw pile. Two energy more on turn one. Keep cycling off. I like it. Uh, three additional cards in our opening hand and a Daze in our draw pile as well. Let's take both of those. I love getting the washes in the... Uh, and the it's, it's washes and oh it's just washes for both of them yeah love it smith a defend i guess nothing else really to do here all right then we're not gonna be using any of these in the first fight we'll use them all in the second fight first fight ought be a cinch Oof. I just keep those. Ah. No, because of Bewildered. Yeah, the autoplay of a card through my deck triggered Bewildered there. It says play, right? Play. Yeah. Damn. Now the cost of this is going to be three with go to. Uh, we need to get Bewildered back and use it again and get a different result. That's, like, actually what we need to do. Which is kind of tragic. And by kind of, I mean incredibly. And by I can't, I actually can't do that, though. Because these are all ethereal, so they're going to burn out. So I need to do all of this now with just the energy and bug barrage cycling, I guess. Not ideal. Not ideal. Uh, 
mean, that's basically best hand I could have drawn there, I guess. Sure. Hopefully this doesn't kill us. Forgot about that. There's the burnout. It's going to help. Cleans up the deck a hell of a lot as well, so it makes our long-term fight a lot better than it otherwise. Half of that damage... In fact, it actually looked like a little more than half of that damage. Went against the target that isn't there. I'm gonna wager that one is a bug. I'm trying not to call my shots on what I think is and is not a bug, but I'm, I'm pretty confident on that one. That's fine. Take one damage on this turn. So we've got Burnout left in the deck. So we've got all the Bug Barrages in there. Well, another Bug Barrage in there, rather. We've only got two. Uh-oh. The difficulty we're having in this fight is... um. Terrifying me a little. Making me think we're uh, due for even more difficulty in the future. Turn out. So, wait, no, that did still hit the front one. I thought, like, oh, no, wait, but that one only hit the... Oh, weird. No, it also hit the front one at the end. back to the field. Buggy sprint. I mean, it still draws a decent amount of cards. And gives the burnout some good fuel. This will refactor. Uh, I'm going to throw everything. Oh, there we go. I just need to get back to the bug brush as quickly as possible. Okay. Especially need to make sure I play the ethereal ones. So build the child, throw another bug barrage, and then burn out. So we'll build the child again. Burn out for 45 damage. Adding more to the deck as well. Do I want to refactor past all of those? No, because I do have the bug definitely coming up. And... At least we know what to do if we get the card in our opening hand. That is to say, the muddling card bewildered in our opening hand in the next fight. Gosh, I guess that's assuming that we do get to the next fight, which isn't necessarily a given at this point. Okay, we'll burn out. Good amount of damage again. Unfortunately, we do give the enemy another uh, focus, but then I get to refactor, burn all of those. Giving myself some reasonable defense for this turn, where otherwise we would have gotten unreasonably not much defense for this turn. Ow. Hey, we're, we're set up for the meat on the bone. That's what I was uh, playing towards. Uh, definitely. Please trust me. Why do, you th do why do you think I'm lying? Is it because my tone of voice tells you I definitely am? Okay, Bob Barrage will get us two extra energy here as well. Throw out another. Fine. Let me refactor. Trying to get some defense here. So you do six, and then... Yeah, the next hit does 12. So the barrage is not showing the correct amount of damage either. Um, there's a few things like that. There's the barrage not showing the correct amount of damage, and then there's a uh, divinity entry, I think. Divinity entry? 
It's something. It's one of the watches ones. It's really, uh, and and one of those silence as well. And then obviously the the ironclad has some weirdness around some of the barricade stuff, if I recall correctly. There's a lot. You're dead. I'm not. Let's move into the next fight. And make sure I don't muddle my opening hand. Unbiased cognition. That's rough as well. Now it's gaining two strength for every rare I play. Uh, well, I have to not throw anything. Otherwise, I might... Wait, no. It's not in the deck yet. Okay, cool. I can throw whatever I want. Throw that. Throw that. Throw that. Throw that. Good. Choose any number of cards to discard. Oh, it's playing uh, Refactor automatically? Sure. Okay. We have the go-to still in the deck. We max power. We get go-to. We fine tuning. We machine oil. We machine oil. This now gains four energy and then five cards. We terminator. It still only inserts one status though. Thankfully. Otherwise, this might be over the top. Uh, instead, I think we just start going. Unfortunately, one of the cards we're going to be cycling here is a void, so... Yeah, we are going to be losing energy whilst doing that. There we go, drew into the new cycle. Then we buggy sprint. Getting ridiculous, ridiculous rather amount of energy back. Right, another book barrage. Keep going. No one told me to stop, so I'm going to keep going again. Um, throw the break. I only get to throw that once. It kind of removes it from the deck. Pull the bell out of the... Yeah, I have a lot of them in there. I can get rid of a single slime and then use the... Artifacting here to prevent the weakness, uh, not weakness, sorry, the vulnerability. Ooh. Haunted made all of our curses? Um, the, the ethereal? Okay. Let's play Flawed. Uh, also, that'll trigger before it blows up, so we'll play that too. Do I want to refactor here? I guess. We have enough others in the deck. We'll be okay. I think we need all of them. Okay, when I said we were going to have trouble in this fight, what I meant was not that. Every time I say we're going to have trouble in this fight, I feel like the game immediately goes, Oh, 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 that's what you think, is it? Have an easy now fight. Refactor was part of it, certainly. The draw order was part of it as well. My gosh. Let it burn. And then, let it burn. I, th I think the, the thing is, I kept, I, I kept forgetting that burnout is not just damage, it's deck management as well. Because it seems like it's not deck management, adding three burns to your deck. But if you're adding three burns to your deck after you remove 20 wounds, that's 17 deck management right there. Hell yeah. That was a really good run. Oh. It's my favorite type of automaton run as well. Just barrel down the line of something particularly interesting, a particularly interesting interaction, and then keep cutting until you can make it more consistent, and then try and find better versions of it, add a couple value cards, like the breaks and stuff like that in the interim. Oh, good fun right there. For the moment. My name's been Rhapsody, the name of the game. As we can this by downfall, there is a playlist in the description down below with all my content on this game, past, present, and future. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.